Harriet Tatum, ABC News, Dury Station. Harriet Tatum in the Simpson Desert. Harriet Tatum, ABC News, Mount Isa. G'day, I'm Harry, and I live here in the beautiful Mount Isa. And I'm here to tell you that we're going to give you the best one night stand of your life. Yeah, we're taking it easy. Traditional owners and scientists have been working with war veterans to unearth the secrets of the Mythica people in Queensland's outback. What they've found throws doubt on the idea that Indigenous groups were nomadic. Harriet Tatham travelled to the Channel Country for this exclusive story and a warning it shows Indigenous archaeological remains. This unforgiving country between Birdsville and Windora has been home to the Mythica people for thousands of years. Now, armed with modern technology, their descendants are learning more about the land and its history. We've got a drone up to get an aerial view of it all and uh, trying to work out what these sites were for and how uh, the Aboriginal people used them. Scientists from three universities are leading this expedition, with returned servicemen pitching in. But it's the land's traditional owners who have the most to gain. They're combining ancient and modern knowledge with great success. Half of the individual has been washed away, so it's a rescue excavation. We're trying to recover those remains that are still in situ, still in their original context, and try to understand how old this person was, how long ago they were buried, and provide some insights into what the people were doing in this country. The human remains are crucial archaeological evidence. Is it? I think I found one. Yeah, you did. With researchers looking to challenge a widespread belief. It's long been thought that Indigenous tribes were nomadic, but the research here could change that. There are drones flying overhead, searching this land for evidence of prehistoric villages. And that would be proof of permanent settlement. But what we see in this landscape is extensive evidence for seed grinding and processing. We see these large site complexes that almost look like villages. Traditional owners say it's knowledge that needs to be recorded. If we don't do it and pass it on, it's, it's all going to be lost. And I think if, by doing it this way, it, it's not word of mouth anymore because there's not enough of us left. For former soldiers, it's a chance to reuse skills. Quite similar work to when you're um, what, searching for landmines and stuff. I just love that every part of you is needed out here. Mentally, emotionally, you know, physically, you're constantly giving, giving uh, to make the project work. And it works. <laughs> These kids are having the right nutrition for their brains so that they're able to focus for longer periods of time. Well, a lot of these children have lots of um, sores and just by having oranges every day has remarkably improved the quality of their skin. Mums for the first time are definitely learning more that there is different varieties of food that really benefit their kids like our fruit, veggies and our milk products. <laughs>